So my dear students, how are you? I hope you are safe and fine at your home. So today's topic that we are going to discuss, today's topic that we are going to deliver is very very important. Right? So this topic is totally depends on speed. What is the speed? So let me tell you the details about speed today. So before we are going to start our session, I would like to ask you a lot of questions as usual in these sessions I am asking. Right, so my first question is to you that have you ever run very faster due to rain, see it's rainy season and uh, let's say uh, generally uh, you are simply normally you are going to somewhere at your home from the market and suddenly start raining a lot. So you generally walk to the, you know, walk or run, run very fast and you see a shelter slide off where you can stay, right? So that is where we listen about the speed. It's okay. Now next point that I'm going to tell you is my next question. Have you ever run very fast when the dog started barking at you? And you are very feared that the dog will come and bite you, right? So on that time you also run. So what is speed? Now the point come here is we generally perform some movement very faster or we perform a movement at a faster rate. So this is from there, the simple, take simple examples like when a dog barks, you suddenly uh, run or sometime when we are late on uh, while we are driving, we give acceleration to our bike and we just move faster with the KTM Duke, right? Or the Honda Shine or something else, right? Hayabusa or our Swift and a lot of uh, OD and our cars. So what we do, we just give acceleration and move as far as, as fast as possible. So whenever we perform the movement as fast as possible, will be called as speed, right? What is speed? It's distance upon time, right? So if we talk in terms of physics, it's just distance upon time taken. And when we compare it to, you know, the real definition or mean something else. Now, whenever in this whole situation, in situation first when it's heavily raining you perform some movement faster you go faster and take some shelter when dog is barking at you you run very fast and you save yourself and you stay somewhere this right it is again you perform a movement at faster rate when what i told you give acceleration because you want to achieve the long distance in a minimum time right so you perform a movement as the fastest quickest possible time Right? So what is the speed? Now the concept of the speed is in quick. The speed is something, it's you know to perform a movement as fast as possible. It is to perform a movement as highest, quickest possible time. Let's come in the ocean of physical education and today's topic that we are going to discuss is speed. Right? So when I am talking about speed, so first thing that we explain you today, that which chapter we are going to do, we are going to be with the chapter name Physical Fitness, Physical Fitness, Wellness and Lifestyle. It's part 4 of this chapter. And today what we are going to learn? Today we are going to learn about speed. Now dear students, please pay attention here. It is the ability of or it is the ability to perform a movement at faster rate. So whenever you are performing something very fast, sometime when we are late for school, when we are late for college, when we are late for some uh, occasion, some function, so we generally perform the thing very fast or like to comb our hair very fast, to dress up ourselves very fast and to do kicking the bike and all those things we done it very very fast. So what is exactly the uh, speed is? The speed is the ability to perform any movement at faster rate. Right? What is speed? Speed is the ability to perform a movement at faster rate. It is the ability to perform a movement as fast as possible. So there are two definitions. Out of this two definitions you can put any of the definition in the board exam, it will work. So it is the ability to perform a movement at faster rate or it is the ability to 
perform a movement as fast as possible in the quickest possible time. Okay, dear students. See, the speed is basically depends upon energy. Now the next point is speed is basically depends upon energy. Now for a common student to become an math student to become a question sir, we are learning physical education and why you put this heredity in on the bio portion. So see, the, uh, being a physical educationist, being a physical education student, you must know each and everything about your body, right? So heredity is you know we get genes from the parents, we get we you know the heredity process, the genes, the genetic material that is the DNA. It is again this question will come in exam. What is the full form of DNA? Right? Now we have here the question. Here is the question D and A. DNA is a genetic material. Generally it is transcripted or recap or recombination. Replication will be done from parents to uh, their baby, their daughter, their son. Right? So we are the uh, we all have parents and we generate it from our parents. We are the offspring of our parents and the DNA of both of them recombinate re uh, and there will be the you know re uh, that is our uh, replication of DNA taking place and then the recombinant DNA is in us. That's why we resemble both of our parents that is our mother and father. Sometimes we look like our father, some of the character are of our father and some of the character we possess that is of our mother. There are two things, recessive and dominant, right? So some dominant character which shows in our body, some recessive character which are inside our body, right? Which are not shown. So, shown. So, it's, uh, we need to understand here that speed is basically depends upon heredity. So, it's depend on heredity, how your parent genes are, Right? How, what, how, which kind of genetic material you have? Uh, if your parents, uh, sometimes you can say parents have a good amount of heredity, so it might lead you also to be a, you know, good amount of a capacity of yours to perform something very faster, very quicker. The speed is basically that is what I'm saying. The speed is basically depends on the heredity. So what is heredity? I hope you clear. So heredity is something that is uh, based on some genes, DNA. So what is the full form of DNA? Deoxyribonucleic acid. It will be the question in our board exam. So please pay attention here. The full form of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. In the same way, RNA also asks something. What is RNA? RNA is ribonucleic acid. So generally, the complex organism. DNA is good and in some bacteria, some fungi, viruses, this RNA will be there, right? So it also can be uh, improved by the proper training. So we are not saying that those who have not that kind of genetic material so that they can improve their uh, speed by the genetic index only, but it is possible for an individual to build up a healthy muscle, to build up this uh, speed if he or she is going for the proper training. So it can, the speed can be improved by the proper training. So if one is, uh, if an individual is going for the proper training, like you know, as a, or, or do some chin-ups, running on the regular basis, doing the skipping, you know, for performing healthy lifestyle, uh, improvement in white twitch muscle fibers, that is white blood cell or white, you know, fast twitch muscle fibers, will also help to improve this. Now, uh, this speed is totally depends upon this fast twitch muscle fiber, right? On which it depends? It depends on this white or we can say it depends on fast twitch muscle fiber. So what we studied here? So speed is the ability to perform movement as fast as possible. The speed is the ability to perform movement and faster, right? In a quickest possible time. It is the ability to perform movement at the fastest possible. It is generally depends, it is basically depends upon the heredity factor. That is, uh, you know, the fast twitch muscle fiber. It also can be uh, improved by proper physical training. Right? It depends on the fast twitch muscle fiber. So this speed is depends upon the fast twitch muscle fiber. Now, these fast twitch muscle fibers are also called white muscle fibers. 
So uh, it may be the question in the board exam that uh, the white muscle fibers are also good and there will be all lot of three or four uh, MCQ based question, right? So what is this white muscle fibers for? The white muscle fiber is for this fast twitch muscle fiber. So what is the another name of fast twitch muscle fiber? The another name of the fast twitch muscle fiber is white muscle fiber. I hope you understood. Let me mark it properly. Fast twitch muscle fiber are also called white muscle fiber. This is one of the important components for the sprint races, right? So whenever I hope you all guys let me have a question to you. You must have, uh, you know, participated in sports and games when you were a little boy of, you know, uh, since fifth to around this 11, 12. So you might have participated in a whole lot of activities like uh, sprint, like 50 meter dash, and a whole lot of activities, right? So when you participated in this games and sports, this speed is the most important component of sprint or 50 meter dash. See, whenever we finish the race, starting will uh, start with the jogging, then we make some acceleration, and in the last we perform the movement with the quickest possible time. So the typical uh, dash or sprint is a some important part of the movement concern. This is one of the most important component of the sprint, which is so talking about speed. It is also required fast response rate. Let's say we are playing Coco. -co. I hope you must have played Coco. -co. I hope you all are aware about what exactly Coco -co is, right? So Coco -co, is a game of uh, 12 players. Out of them, 9 players are there in the field. And uh, uh, there are two things, runner and chaser, right? So when the runners are running and the chasers are, you know, pick up in the peoples. So what exactly happened there? The chaser has a only chance he can move in a circle. But the runner can go from anybody else. In between the players he can move. So that is, this game is skillful. Very fast. Very responsive. So in skill based responsive games, this speed is very very important. So it required for the fast response game. So what I'll say, I'll be saying fast response game. Now can you name some fast response game? Like first is Coco, Judo, Karate. These are some fast response games. Like in Karate or Judo, when someone punch you, kick you, right? Someone can punch you as well as kick you, right? So if someone is able to punch you as well as he is able to kick you on the same, uh, same time, so there will be the fast response, right? So if someone is kicking you, punching you and doing everything very quick as possible time. So this speed is the most important component for this skill. Fast response skill games and sports. I hope you understand this topic, right? See students. What we started, we started with fast twitch muscle fibers, which is also called white twitch muscle fibers, right? Next thing is, it also can be required in fast response game and it is one of the most important component of sprint, right? Now see, it is also required in fast responses, skill games and sports. Speed can be measured through reflex test, the sprint, 50 meter sprint. There's all different games like Coco, Judo, Karate, even Kabaddi, strength games. This games will definitely work. See, now for the development of the speed, sufficient amount of strength, sufficient amount of endurance, sufficient amount of flexibility, sufficient amount of coordinated ability is also required. So as I earlier told you, what is the strength? The strength in the last question we had covered just if you want to increase your speed, if you want to build up your speed, you must have this all components too in your body. So what are these components? First is the strength. Now I am again and again I am always telling you to learn all the sub points. If you learn all the sub points, then the concept will be fine for you. So what is strength? It's the ability to overcome resistance, right? It is the ability to overcome 
resistance. Right? Next, uh, let me make one chart so that it could be possible for you to see properly. Ability to overcome resistance. What is endurance? Ability to overcome fatigue. What is it? Overcome fatigue. FPA is you. What is flexibility? Flexibility is the ability of our joints to move in maximum length, right? So joints move in maximum range. So flexibility is the ability of our joints to move in maximum range. What is coordinative ability? This coordinative ability is ability to perform movement with perfection and efficiency. So when we perform a movement with perfection and efficiency too, that is then we call it coordinative ability. Got it? Now see, there are four types. There are four components. I would say there are four components of the speed, right? So what are these four components that we need to keep in mind, which are very very important? These components are very very important, right? So first is reaction time. Second is acceleration. Third is the speed of movement and locomotor ability. Right? First is reaction time. Second is acceleration. Third is speed. Fourth is locomotor ability. Right? Now let me explain. Let me start explaining you. Reaction time. When your body come into action. Let's say it is a 50 meter dash. Right? When our body from rest come into action, when I started to run, this point of time is called reaction time. Bring body into action is called reaction time. Acceleration. What is this acceleration? When you you know make your body in a constant running pace, it depends on your pace. The speed of movement. When we supposed to finish our meet, right? So let's say if I want to finish the race, so on that time I will be quickly run very very faster so that the electricity and with my uh, race with this chest sometimes people feel the speed by their hands so when you run and when you touch your chest and you finish the race like Milka Singh does always right Milka Singh always finishes the race by the chest and when we push your body forward the hands go backward and it push the body more force because uh, according to the Newton third law of motion, every action has equal and opposite reaction. You push your chest in front and take your hands back. You will be more pushed forward, right? So uh, next is last locomotor ability. Locomotor ability is what? It is the ability of a woman or of individual to perform. You have to run fast to change your direction, right? So if you have a, I think you must have seen. The ground is a little like this the shape, you shape. So, uh, player is running and he has to take turn. Right? So, he or she will have to take turn. So, locomotor ability is also a very, very important component. Right? Now, let's come to the actually. So, we have started with the speed. Speed is the ability of a person to perform movement as fast or rate. It is the ability of a person to perform movement as fast as possible. It is the ability of a person to perform movement in the quickest possible time. It is also depends on heredity, but it can be improved, it can be improved by the proper training. It depends on the fast fish muscle fibers. These fast fish muscle fibers are also called white muscle fibers. This is one, this is one of the most important components for the sprint 50 meter dash, etc. It is also required for the fast response games and sports, right? If the speed can be measured, so if there is a question, the speed can be measured. Yes, the speed can be measured by a straight or a meter, the flex test, etc. Uh, if someone asks you what is the skill fast response for games, so it's Koko, Judo, Karate, etc. For the development of the speed, sufficient amount of the strength, endurance, flexibility, Coordinative ability, a person must have causes all this. Got it? Next is, there are four types of speed, or the components are four. First is reaction time, when we bring our body into action. Second is acceleration. 
speed of movement and locomotor ability these are things right so what is strength strength is uh, you know its ability of our uh, muscles to overcome resistance endurance is the uh, ability of our you know body to overcome fatigue coordinative ability or yeah its uh, ability of our uh, ability of an individual to do a work with perfection and efficiency flexibility is the ability of our joint to move in maximum range so i hope you understand this all concept what is it speed which is the ability of a muscle to move in fast rate let's quickly recapitulate let's understand the point that you need to keep in your mind is the full form of dna deoxy ribonucleic acid rna ribonucleic acid speed is because as basically a heredity factor right fast twitch muscle fiber and white muscle fiber are same sprint games it is very important fast response is gave it is also very important in that it can be measured through reflex test and sprint of 50 meter and so that's all uh, what we have started we started with the speed components of speed what are the components reflection acceleration speed of movement locomotor ability right now learn about the different components of speed in detail right students so reaction time what is the first point the first point is reaction Time. How about the reaction time? Is? It is the time taken by the body to respond immediately after the stimulus, right? So let's say you are ready for the 50 meter dash. I am also ready. You are also ready. Are you ready? Say yes or no. Great, good. So I am ready for the uh, 50 meter dash, right? And for what we are waiting? We are waiting for the fox forty whistle. Someone has, you know, yeah, either we go for the clap. Or we walk for the whistle, as in when the whistle blow. That is the stimulus. What is it? That is the stimulus. The whistle is the stimulus. I just listen and I just walk, right? So, what is reaction time? It's the time taken by the body to respond immediately after the stimulus. What is stimulus? Reaction time is the time taken by the body to respond immediately after stimulus. So, as in that an individual taking or got a stimulus. Right? So uh, let's say uh, when we got the stimulus by the fox for the whistle or the clapper, we as in when we got the stimulus and we start to bring our body into action. And we what we need to do, we take our body to respond. We respond to instruction, right? Instruction may be whistle, instruction may be you know go, one, two, three, go. These are some instructions, right? So when we uh, you know it's time taken by the body to respond, we Right? It is also defined as to bring body into action. So this is also defined as to bring body into action. Right? What is the reaction time? The reaction time is taken by the body to respond immediately after stimulus. It is also defined as to bring body into action. So which point do you need to keep in your mind? You need to keep this point in your mind. Right? What do you need to keep? It is the time taken by the body to respond after Stimulus. In simple words, what can I write? can write to bring. To bring body into action is the most important one. Got it, students? Now, what is acceleration? Next component of speed is acceleration. It is the time to attain the maximum speed. Uh, let's say you are giving race, we are giving acceleration to your bike when there is no one in the highway. So, we generally move with a good amount, you know, good speed. So, acceleration. It's the time taken by the body to reach at maximum speed. So when our body reached at maximum speed, right? So how do we uh, define the acceleration? It's the time taken by the body or an individual to reach maximum speed. So which point you need to keep in your mind? You need to keep this maximum speed, right? This is the most important point that we need to keep in our mind. It is the time taken by the body to reach at maximum speed. But students, these helps to gain speed during the action. So what I want to say here, acceleration is the time taken by the body to reach maximum speed. These helps to gain speed during the action. So let's say if you are uh, going for uh, 1600 meter run, right? So when we start at 600 meter run, we generally move for a slow pace, then we maintain our pace, and then in the last 
See, when we maintain our pace of attack, acceleration will work. So it's the time taken by the body to reach at the maximum speed during your pace time. Reach maximum speed. Sometimes, see, when we are four or five people, so we need to reach at maximum speed so that we can move more farther than the people who are with us, right? So to reach a maximum speed, this helps to gain speed during action. So during action, these things will help us to reach at the maximum speed. Uh, speed, right? Now it's depend on explosive strength. Yesterday I done your portion that is related to the explosive strength. So this acceleration depends upon explosive strength, right? Now what is this explosive strength? Explosive strength is to perform a movement, a forceful movement in a quickest possible time, right? What is explosive strength? To perform a movement with quickest possible time. Alright students, so what is this explosive strength? See, this speed is based on the explosive strength. And what is explosive strength? To perform movements with quickest possible time. Got it? So it's a time taken by the body. Right, beta? So what we need to understand? We need to what that the time or the speed depends on the explosive strength. To perform the amount, to perform the amount of work, you know, stressful work, forceful work in a quickest possible time. So what's reaction time? It's a time taken by the body to respond immediately after the stimulus. It is also defined as to bring body into action. It is defined as to bring body into action. Acceleration. This acceleration is something which you know helps to attain a maximum strength. Right? Strength is something which leads us to attain the maximum strength. Right? I hope you understand. So it is the time taken by the body to reach at the maximum speed. Okay, it also helps to gain or attain speed during the action. It basically depends upon the explosive strength. Strength, what is strength? See, explosive it means the quickest, and strength it is uh, you know the ability to overcome fatigue. So when you are performing a uh, stressful work. I don't say it's stressful, I am saying it's a uh, forceful work in a quickest possible time. Now what's the example of this explosive strength? The example of this explosive strength is standing broad jump. Standing broad jump. Right, my dear students? Now the standing broad jump, how does it measure the explosive strength or the speed? See. Uh, let's say your body is of 70 kg and you will have to jump for the standing jump. So now there will be three muscles to have quadricep, hamstring and calf muscles. So these muscles will take our weight, right? So we are the forceful person, right? 70 kg and now we are going to jump. So as and when we jump, what will happen? There will be the speed, you know? Suddenly we can jump. So when I jump, there will be, you know, some speed, which is speed, explosive strength is required to perform that speed and that is what this acceleration exactly is. So that's why this acceleration is depends upon the explosive strength. So I have given you the example of the standing broad jump in which, what is happening, in which I give you the example of standing broad jump and in this standing broad jump, three muscles work. First is you know your hamstring, quadricep, and calf muscles. Uh, you know hamstring and quadricep are on thigh, and calf muscle is just below to your knee, backside of your knee, right? So this is about what we have started about the reaction time and the acceleration. I hope you understand, students. I hope you got it. So what is reaction time? It's the ability to take the body to respond immediately after the stimulus, like the whistle. It's also defined to bring body into action. Now what is this acceleration? This acceleration is the time taken by the body to reach at maximum speed. 
these not only help to uh, gain speed but they also lead you to uh, enhance your speed at a maximum level it depends upon the explosive strength and the example is standing broad jump to perform the movement in a quickest possible time to perform the most forceful movement in a quickest possible time right now the point is about this speed of movement and locomotor ability so these two points we need to cover now the speed of movement and the locomotor ability now what is this speed of movement is exactly this is the quickness to complete the action so this point you need to keep in mind the speed of movement see uh, if i told you to uh, just put the chalk and put it here put the chalk and put in the next box so i did one two you will keep it and put right i told you to take uh, two chapati right and just take two chapati here and put it here so what will you do one two one two one two one two and you will perform the same manner right so let's say there are eight chapati so what will you do you will not do it like this simple and put again and then throw and put and throw and put and throw you will do it very quickly put and throw no faster so what is the step there we can like take an example of let it be also quickness to complete the action is speed of movement right what is speed of movement it is the quickness to complete the action it depends upon the technique explosive strength flexibility and coordination right so this speed of movement can be maintained by the strength if you have to go to the strength that is the explosive strength that i mentioned flexibility ability for joints to move in maximum range coordinated ability that is the ability to perform movement with perfection as well as efficiency okay next is locomotor ability see listen this word loco and motor it is also called as locomotion locomotor means change in direction with you know fast speed so this is maintaining the top speed for the longer duration right what is locomotor ability locomotor ability is maintaining the top speed for the longer duration with change in direction this is the important point that you need to keep in your mind see this locomotor ability is maintaining the top speed fine top speed for longer duration of time with change in direction so when an individual able to maintain the top speed for the long duration of time and change the direction also this is called this locomotor ability uh, it's you know depends upon the anaerobic endurance this is the important point that we need to keep in mind now what is aerobic and what is anaerobic aerobic means presence of oxygen and what is anaerobic it means anaerobic so it is anaerobic absence of oxygen what is endurance so endurance is something like which is overcome fatigue so when you run for a longer duration when you run very fast and for a longer duration so the uh, expression will be anaerobic so which kind of endurance is there there is the anaerobic endurance the speed of movement is the quickness to complete action it depends upon the technique it depends upon the explosive strength flexibility coordination right locomotor ability is the ability to maintain the top speed for the long duration and uh, the change in direction it depends upon the end with endurance i hope you understand this concept right now what are the ways to improve your learning right if generally if i ask student uh, you tell us tell me if i ask you that uh, how will you maintain your speed how will you enhance your speed you said that we will go for regular morning walk we will go for regular running if we do regular running we will maintain our speed it's not good it's totally wrong see it's good to go but it's dance the concept is wrong there are two methods for maintaining your speed there are two methods to enhance your speed to make your speed by the great training method so there are two training method first is acceleration run training method and the second one is pace run training method okay students first is acceleration run training method now what is this acceleration run training method so in acceleration run training method what we do we maintain some acceleration like for starting with how much speed we will have to go for maintaining the pace how will we run right so let's suppose we resist the ground 
this is the starting reason. So since from here in that will spawn up to you know 20 to 30 meters. In the estimation we are taking at the 20 to 30 meters we have to run quickly. Then maintain the acceleration. What is the acceleration? Acceleration is attending top speed, maximum speed, right? And then finish with the quickest possible time. So first is acceleration generally done in ground or somewhere else. Okay, by performing various activities, we done this acceleration run training map. Pace and training method. So I hope you all visited G. I hope you all are aware about treadmill. Treadmill is a machine on which an individual generally walk, generally run. Okay, it's a artificial track. Tread pace run. So we set the pace the speed of 20, the speed of 15, the speed of 18, the speed of 5, 6, 7, whatever. So in this pace, we uh, an individual maintain the pace. Like uh, if someone is running on the pace of 20, so the speed will make the speed 20, we can make the speed 6, 9, 3, whatever. We make the speed and then we enhance the speed day by day. But what the problem is there, you missed an individual those who are performing this pace run training method on treadmill. So you missed the natural ground, right? Because the soft, the touch given by this uh, ground is different as compared to this treadmill. So there are two methods we know in strength, acceleration run training method and pace run training method. Understood the students? Now this graph I'm going to tell you what exactly the factors affect this. What are uh, speed? So what you need to understand this graph, this side shows the speed and this side shows the distance. This is the distance and this is the speed. What is students? So before we going to tell you about this graph, I just want you to know that are you exactly understood what I'm saying? I am saying about now how the different kinds of athletes are there like poor athlete like uh, average athlete good athlete right see this is the graph okay here is the speed here is the distance this is my first this is my first athlete okay he break taken a break acceleration zone he maintained the pace and now he do it properly. So this is the graph for the good athlete maintaining good time. This is the graph for good athlete who has maintained the time. Next is this one. This sorry, yeah, this one. So uh, in this starting it is done. See, this is the reaction time. This portion is now uh, 20 to 30 meter. 20 to 30 meter is the acceleration time. Once you start the acceleration, not very fast. Then, but he goes up, then he, then everything is the same. He made the constant pace, right? So what you need to do, you need to jump, uh, changes in the pace. You need to maintain pace. Then he will have to do perform action very quickly. And I told you this angle is 45. If you throw anything with the angle of 45, it will go more longer, right? Far away. So uh, the first one is the pace of this good athlete. This second one, right? This is the second one. This is the A. Now this is this uh, C. So this is the average athlete, the average time. Now the athlete, uh, athlete is, uh, you know, poor uh, in the sense of uh, technology and the techniques to use the, the skills in running. So he is just totally disturbed. Sometimes he is feeling, you know, hasty or breathing push up to something else. So it is poor athlete time. Now there are three components here. The first component is the actual activity here. In the second, it's the acceleration zone. When, I, when let's say it's a hundred meter track, right? The races of hundred meters, twenty to thirty meters is the acceleration zone. Forty to ninety meters is the pace zone. And the finish zone is of ten meter, right? So what I'm saying, first is the you know, twenty to thirty meter is the acceleration zone, and the next. Phase zone is of 40 to 90 meter and the finish zone is of 10 meter. So first, when you first thing is starting at you can see the reaction ability. In the acceleration zone, we check the acceleration ability. In the phase zone, we measure the speed of movement that is like 40 to 90 meter. In the finish zone, 10 meter is what we measure. We measure the coordinated ability. So this is all about the speed. The components of the speed, how we measure the speed. So what is the speed? 
speed is ability to perform movement as fast as possible. Four components that are reaction time, ability, locomotor ability, speed of movement. Two ways to improve the speed, spatial zone matter and phase under time matter. Then we also have over one speed graph of the basically. I hope you understand the concepts properly, right? So with this, take care. Bye-bye.